The Honda Civic is one of the best selling, most widely recognized car lines in the world. You might say it's a wee bit important the Honda gets the Civic lineup right. For 2016, the Civic is all new with a clean sheet redesign. Is it once again the standard of the compact car world? Hi, I'm Joel Fetter, and I'll tell you in our latest video road test of the 2016 Honda Civic. This clean sheet redesign fixes a lot of what's gone wrong with Honda's bread and butter sedan in recent years. The last new Civic had a cheap interior, dull design, and not so great driving dynamics. That changes now. The Civic's back to form with a beautiful, edgy fastback shape that effectively hides its size by widening and lowering its proportions. We could do without the formal and thick band of chrome in the front, but the flared wheels, fast roofline, and wedged tail all just work to give it some excitement. What Honda calls the sedan, which is what we have right here, is the most attractive model in the Civic lineup. There's also a thick looking coupe and a five door hatchback coming for those looking for a little less or more utility. Inside the Civic is a more tame, organized, broadly horizontal look with a display that's now single screen instead of the dual screen setup in the previous Civic. Most Civics have analog gauge clusters, but top models like ours have a digital display. The Civic splits its identities when it comes to performance under the hood. Base cars are powered by a two liter four cylinder with 158 horsepower. Those seeking more performance can offer our testers turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder with 174 horsepower. Either engine powers the front wheels through a CVT, though a manual transmission is available on base cars. Fuel economy rings in as high as 31 miles per gallon city and 42 miles per gallon highway, according to EPA ratings. The Civic's big performance appeal is in ride and handling on top versions. Base cars are much more ordinary, but cars like this Civic Touring have a more complex dual pinion electric steering setup and hydraulic mounts for the suspension. With them, the Civic is a magnitude more mature than the last version. Given the choice of power, we're gonna choose the Turbo 4 every single time. First off, it gets better fuel economy than the base four, and it's far more fun to drive thanks to more power. Actually, under full blast, the Turbo 4 sounds a lot like the Honda glory days of VTEC. Seriously. Now, the CVT does kill a lot of the fun, or at least some of it, but a manual transmission is coming. The Civic's big cabin has six foot of room in back and lots of clever storage solutions. It has grown up and grown out as a Volkswagen Jetta or Chrysler 200, thanks to nearly three inches of added length and two inches added width. The front seats are mounted low, but they are height adjustable, and the dashboard's low, which gives good visibility. But the real story is back here in the rear seat, where this rear seat outperforms every single car the Civic names as a rival and some that it doesn't. There's more than enough knee, leg, and headroom back here for almost any adult. The IIHS named the Civic a top safety pick plus, and thanks to its advanced safety tech, it earned a superior score in crash avoidance and mitigation. Every Civic gets prerequisite airbags and stability control with hill start assist. Active safety features such as adaptive cruise control, lane departure warnings, and forward collision warnings with automatic braking are available. Starting from just under $20,000, the Honda Civic comes standard with Bluetooth, power features, automatic climate control, LED taillights and daytime running lights, keyless entry in a four speaker, 160 watt sound system with a five inch LCD color display. Options include a dual zone automatic climate control, a seven inch touchscreen infotainment system with navigation and heated front seats, leather upholstery and LED headlights. So what's the bottom line with the 2016 Honda Civic? It's dropped all its economy car pretenses and in top touring trim, like our tester, it can basically wear an Acura badge. For more information, be sure to read our full review on the Car Connection and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm Joel Fetter and thanks for watching.